Welcome to a very special episode of Salford Weekly. As we celebrate the return of the show and the start of an incredible year, we come to you live from Welcome Week here on the Peel Park campus to bring you up to date with what an incredible week it's been. Coming up on the show today, we speak with the Deputy Vice-Chancellor on her message to students. I would, my message would be if you feel like an imposter, if you feel anxious, uh, don't. We go live for those hosting Shock Radio's coverage of the Welcome Fair. And Alfie and I take a trip on the Ferris wheel for the Solver Weekly Quiz. Never been particularly good with heights. Wow, what a show we've got coming up. And what a set we are on. We are coming to you live from the University of Salford's Robotics Lab here in the new Science and Engineering building at the Peel Park campus with such a beautiful view behind us. I'm Emma. And I'm Alfie and we'll be with you for the next half hour talking everything freshers from Welcome Week to today's Welcome Fair and everything that's been fresh in between. Tell you another thing that's looking fresh. Cammy's outfit. Cammy now joins us from the other side of University House, live at the Welcome Fair. Cammy, what's going on over there? Well, apologies for that. We seem to have lost our link to Cami. I'm sure he's having lots of fun <laughs> down there. Now, ahead of the new year, we are able to bring you a Keys TV exclusive as Matt Hallsworth chats with Professor Simone Bautenyk, uh, Deputy Vice-Chancellor of the University of Salford, about her plans for the upcoming academic year. Thanks, guys. I'm joined today by Simone Boutendijk, who's previously been Vice-Rector at Leiden University in the Netherlands, Vice-Proctor at Imperial College London, and most recently Vice-Chancellor at the University of Leeds. She is now the brand-new Deputy Vice-Chancellor at the University of Salford, and she's known for leading large-scale education programmes aimed at delivering interactive and student-centred education. Um, so as we're here in Welcome Week, uh, just the start of university, and there's going to be lots of fresh faces lots of nervous young people that are going to be living away from home for the very first time. Um, but I sort of wanted to know, what's the feeling with academics and sort of the leadership team at this time of year? How are you guys feeling ready for the, for the start of the new year? Yeah, may, we may not be as nervous as some of the new <laughs> students, but we're certainly excited. It's always really great to see the new students coming and it gives that sense of, yeah, something new happening and the summer is always really quiet so we're all looking forward to seeing lots of students around campus again so it's a great time of year. Um, so uh, as well from you personally have you got a message that you would give to new starters arriving at University of Salford this week what would be your message to them? Yeah I, I, I went back in my head to my own first time at university and how nervous I was and how I felt like I was a bit of an imposter and everybody else was clearly much more deserving and smart than I was. So I would, my message would be if you feel like an imposter, if you feel anxious, uh, don't and realize that the vast majority of your colleagues feel exactly the same way. Um, and you can do this, you've come this far, uh, just be confident. And to the few students who don't feel nervous, who don't feel like they're an imposter, great, you know, because you're, yeah, you'll, you'll be fine. Now, we're on Keys TV today, and Keys TV, the student uh, TV station, is based over in our campus in Media City, UK, and is part of the School of Arts, Media and Creative Technology. Media City UK is just one of the three campuses that this university has. Um, so what benefits do you think that come from all of the campuses and schools working together at this university? Uh, such a great question. I think huge benefits it's all the, the major global challenges. They all need this multidisciplinary approach. None of them can be solved only by engineers or scientists or technicians. And we, we really need all the disciplines to work together. So I think there's enormous benefit in arts and media and culture working together with people in health or in engineering on the big issues like climate change and inequalities and everything. That, that the world actually needs from, from students, from, 
new graduates. So and yes, we're going to focus on that. Big and great teams come together when they have sort of different skills. Absolutely, sets. absolutely, yeah, yeah, and that's really needed. Thank you so much for talking with us today, Simone. Um, it's been brilliant to sort of get to know you a little bit more and, and learn about your new role at the university. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. It was fun. Thank you so much, Matt. And thank you to Professor Simone Baltendijk for her time. Great to hear that an amazing year is coming up for us. Yeah, absolutely. Now, as we said at the top of our show today, today is a very special episode here on Salford Weekly, ahead of our new returning series. I'm excited. And I've actually had the chance to host um, previously in season two. And I'm honoured to have been chosen as a new Salford Weekly presenter. So if you're one of our new students or perhaps aren't familiar with what Salford Weekly is, haven't seen the last two seasons of the show, here's a little refresher of some of the best bits from the past couple of years. Hello and welcome along to Salford Weekly. My name is Matthew Green. And I'm Holly Angus. And today, as you can see, we're outside of Media City enjoying the sunshine. So basically, the challenge is to get the best looking biscuit. You know when you're watching Bake Off and you're sat at home and it's like, oh, Judith hasn't done very well today. Do you know what? Her Press fondant the unicorn. Bake Off people because I couldn't do this under time pressure. Stairs or lift. When you come to Media City, you have um, two options to get to the third floor. Some people argue it might be the lift. Some people argue it might be the stairs. Hi. Bye. <laughs> I'm finding this extra stressful because <laughs> normally I have someone waiting at the lift for me. Let's head down on, to the South Week <laughs> studio. Go, 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 go. Still catching my breath back. Those go, 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 <laughs> With 35% of the UK currently single, according to the census, new research may have shone a light on why some of us are still looking for the one. Wow, Salford Weekly. I love attending every week. Cherry Blossoms Fall. We're out there striking for better pay and for better conditions and just making sure the company stays as it is. It's serving the public just like it has done for the past 500 years. It's normally just myself, Courtney and Luke are in studio, but today we have more than just the three of us. <laughs> we have people in the audience! Yay! Oh, hi, Luca. Here he is behind us. Should we get our first question, Holly, and Let's see how we get on? What is that? What on earth is that? We've had some technical issues with that. We're really sorry about that. So Matt is unfortunately still, I'm still eating. eating my I was just talking about how good it was. <laughs> I'm just going to finish Just keep going. Honestly, it's fine. <laughs> and now, no, I'm just, sorry, go on. A special thank you, of course, to Matthew and Courtney for hosting the show this, this season and getting me all of this wonderful money. I really do appreciate your support. Oh, there really has been some amazing memories and it's so fun to work on shows such as Sulphur Weekly and Balawas every single week here on Keys TV and you guys can get involved in them too. And if you are interested in being involved in any show on Keys TV, not just Salford Weekly, you can register by emailing keystv at salford.ac.uk or simply pop a message to the Keys TV Instagram account. Now, Cammy is actually with us yes. right now, live, and you've just been at the Welcome Fair, haven't you? Yeah, I have. I've ran back up, hence why I'm a little sweaty, <laughs> like to be at its finest. But yeah, it is great down there. There's an amazing atmosphere, all the societies are in, it's super busy. And I was actually speaking to a few of the societies, mm -hmm. speaking to Almost Famous, Famous? Famous, <laughs> which is the singing, dancing, producing society, the snowboarding society as well, cricket, football, there's such an array in there, and loads of free pizza as well, oh, so you can't really beat it. That sounds pretty good to be fair. No, it's amazing, <laughs> amazing. Are you looking to sign to any societies in particular? Well, hopefully the Football Society, and mm -hmm. then also Shock as well, which will please Alfie, no doubt. <laughs> Shock's been out and about a lot this week. Yes, 100%. Lots of new members. And we spoke to Shock as well, uh, and Shock are broadcasting live from outside too, so if you are there and you want to get along, it's still 
still a massive hustle and bustle down there. So. And there are another five shock broadcasts coming up in the next week from across campus. So do come and get a free pen. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, thank you so much, No worries at all. Um, so, Alfie. Well, with a new year comes a new chance to welcome a brand new committee for Salford SU. They're the group helping to run your students' union and to represent you as students. Yes, so we chatted earlier right here with the new SU president, Alvina Imran, about her plans for the coming year. Alvina, thank you so much for joining us here in the robotics lab. Oh, I'll start by asking, what have you found the best about this week so far? Freshers, new students. I think we're definitely a university that is so much diverse. And just to have students on the campus and knowing they're getting to explore new things, they're finding new stuff, new societies, and definitely what, what do students usually come for? Freebies. Lots and lots and lots of it. And it's been, it's been so busy. Monday, I think, was the busiest I've ever seen that courtyard out there. So you're, you're on the new student union president. What made you want to apply for that role? Um, this is an interesting question entirely because I have been volunteering with different societies, um, different charities actually, um, since 2016 and 17. So um, I have been quite low in my time um, and I've been at points where I didn't think there was anybody for me or for my support. So that's when I got really involved with the different charities and that's when I was like, no, maybe. I really started enjoying helping people out and definitely, do you know, like when you see the satisfaction in someone's face and you're the reason behind it, it just gives you that thing, content. Um, so definitely that and I think I have been working quite closely with a lot of students um, in the charities as well. So right now with one of the charities I'm really looking to bring asylum seekers and refugees more into universities and um, training them up for interviews and going through the personal statements just to try and get them more um, aware about the university. So definitely all about students, all about helping people. Is there anything you're most excited about like for the rest of this year in your new role? I'm really, really excited to collaborating with different people, uh, meeting new people, making new connections, building relationships, and definitely just be uh, every, every student's voice. So by the end of the year, I'm hoping that maybe they'll be like, no, she did good to the role, or she did something for us, just something beneficial for the students. And, that, and that's what the SU's there for, it's there yes. to, help, to help students. What else uh, do, can Salford SU offer? to students at the university? Um, not, obviously not a lot of students usually know about SU, but um, SU is generally there just to help you guys, um, support you, empower you, but at the same time, we're there to try to make your university life experience a really fun one, and definitely something that you're gonna remember throughout the years. And it's not just a bar? Not just a bar, <laughs> <laughs> even though we have a new menu. <laughs> Love that. A lovely new menu. Yeah, try some today actually. It was Thank very good. you. <laughs> um, and obviously you've just had your new rebrand as well. Yeah. What are you hoping that's going to bring? Uh, to the SE as well. So our new branding is literally just trying, uh, trying up to be up to date with the, uh, the, the trends and also um, the logo here represents us empowering students. Um, a fun fact that uh, a previous logo uh, was actually designed by one of our students and um, one on the Facebook. <laughs> so it was quite old and we needed a new, new brand in. Yeah, I love the green as well. Thank <laughs> you. Everyone has been complimenting it. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's nice. And you're also visible on campus. Loads of people running around in green hoodies there to help. <laughs> yes, I think that's the only reason people have been able to recognise us and I think the badges do the work too, um, but yeah, surely. Amazing, amazing. Um, so in terms of events and stuff like that, is there any big events that you're thinking of like putting on or anything like that? Um, I, I think we as a Salford Union do a lot for the students. I think we're definitely reaching a point where students don't really know what's going on or what events that we have already. So maybe just raising the awareness of those events and um, probably getting more ideas as to what students want. Mm -hmm. So just catering to their needs and just making sure they feel supported and heard. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. That jib shot is lovely. Thanks, Alvina, so much for popping in to chat to us. It's been a really busy week this week as the university has prepared to welcome another cohort of incredible freshers to our university community. Yes, and earlier on this week we actually got off to some fun, didn't we? In true Salford Weekly fashion, we took on the traditional Salford Weekly quiz. But this time, there was a bit of a twist. Oh we're here at Salford University for Freshest Week and we've got loads of good events going on around the campus and one of them that everyone looks forward to, whether it be Freshest Week or Winter Wonderland, is the Ferris Wheel and we're going to be doing a little quiz. Uh, I'm going to be asking the questions and Emma and Alfie here are going to be competing against each other to try and win. Get a nice view from up here. Oh, 
dear. I've never been particularly good with heights. Question one! How many SU branded events are there in total this week? 13! Uh, 30? Very close, Alfie. Alfie gets it. Which artist was supposed to be performing tonight, Take Wednesday? Emma gets yes. it. Which welcome event is only appearing twice this week? What? I have no idea what they're saying. Speed friending. It was making meals with the SU. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. One at, one at Lowry and uh, one somewhere else. Question four. Who is the Paralympian who gave a Q&A session on Wednesday afternoon? Olympian? I didn't even know what was happening. Oh, I can't remember his name. It was James Ball. Right, question five. Which energy drinks brand was represented by a silver mini at the stalls on Monday? Was it Red Bull? Correct. Alfie gets that one. How many outside broadcasts are there during Welcome Week? Was that how many outside broadcasts is Shock Radio doing during Welcome Week? If, if, if it was that, we are doing 10 over the course of 13 days. Close, Alfie. Ten. Oh, this week. This week. Six. Yeah, six. Six. Oh, okay. I'll, we'll give it to Alfie. Okay. Who was the interview with with Matt Hallsworth and a certain somebody? The vice of the chancellor. C correct. Emma gets it. Fresh as fair features a slice of free pizza each year from what pizza Sorry. chain? Oh, Alfie gets it. Cheating. Alfie is cheating. This summer, the roles of the Keys intern changed hands once again. Name the current intern and the two before them. Jolanda, um, Sophie and... Um... Sophie Hodges! Jess! Are we, what are we naming? What's Jess's last name? Lander, I should know this. Sophie, jo Jolanda, Sophie, and Jessica. Jessica. Oh, no. Can we give her the point? I feel really mean. Oh, love you, Jess. Jess Blackburn. Oh, my God, Jess. Yeah, I knew that. I love you, Jess. I'm so sorry. So it was Jolanda, Sophie Hodgetts, and Jess Blackburn. Tonight marks the return of Keys TV series Salford Weekly. But when was the last time the episode was aired? 2022. December. Um, the last time it got aired was in. So it was meant to be. There was a second season in the just before December. So like end of like first three weeks of December. 19th of December. 15th. It's the 15th of December. The 15th of December, 2022. Yeah. Hey! Oh. Hello! Hello! Throwing Alfie over. I'm just that happy I've won. <laughs> it was it was quite uh, something else to try and get the communication across. Yeah. But we managed it. We managed it. And yeah. the sun came up just for us. Yeah, yeah, I know. We were we were fearing that the rain might come in, but it's holding off. Yeah, we're going strong. We're going strong. Warmed up a bit. It was really quite windy earlier. Yeah, I think the problem for me was like focusing on what you were saying, but also trying to stay stable on the. Um, yeah, yeah. Thing. Because I kept leaning over and then I was suddenly like, oh, actually, I'm quite high. But you know what? I won. I won. All I could hear the Just whole saying. time was her laughing either above, behind, in front. Or I was having a great time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you were. Yeah, yeah, it was well fun. I was saying at the top, I was like, if, if I had a perfect cup of coffee right now, sat looking at the view. <laughs> You're obsessed with coffee. Sudden, I know. It's a good way to be. And after we did that... They made us try this. Three rounds. Ready, set, fight. Don't drop this. Right. Round one gets out of it. My defense, I think that's my stability. Right. Oh, look at 
that's a tiebreaker. I didn't come off, I didn't come off. I'm just like... You're not really matching my energy here, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't do it. You throw some hard that I like to do it like. We had so much fun filming that. We really did, we really did. I am so proud of myself. If I'm being honest, I actually didn't think I had this. I really had to faith in you. But, but. That, that one where we both answered at pretty much the same time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if I'd have got that point, which I think I should have done, it would have been a draw. Wasn't so it? I think really we're, we're even there, aren't excuses, we? You've used excuses and I just feel like it's just, it's just not going to work. I did win. But can I just say, I actually do feel really sorry for Jess. Like, oh. I feel really bad. Jess, I love you and I miss you and I'm so sorry. You know when you like call everyone by their first names? Like, yeah. I, I never remember people's last names. It just goes. Straight out of the head. It just goes. It's really bad. But you know what? I need to scoop up my knowledge of everyone's last names. The other thing about that little clip, it looks like we're on that wheel for a lot shorter than we were. We went round probably about 30 times. Oh, it was people crazy. People got on, people got off, but we stayed on there. I was, committed I was to dizzy. It. I was dizzy by the end of it. Like, Honestly, when we got off, I think I was wobbling before I even got on them little things where we were firing each other. I mean, you, you can see when we go to talk to Ollie, we're all a bit, bit dazed, a bit dizzy. I know. I'm excited for, like, the season, though. I have no idea what's going to be thrown at me throughout this season uh, with different challenges because you literally never know yourself on weekly. Like, if you've watched the series before, it's a bit intense with some of the things you have to do, like um, solve with Eatly. If, if I ever have to do something like that, I don't know what I'm going to do. But tell you what... If I have to do that carousel thing again, I can do it. I can do it. And, and I'm just here for today. Emma, poor Emma, has a whole other series of Salford Weekly doing whatever she's told. I know, I know. It's exciting, though. It's exciting, though. Mm. I can't wait. I and, can't wait. And, you, and you're too kind to say no. So No, very true. I can't say no. I can't say no to anything. It's actually a bit of an issue. I'm starting to realise this in my life. Um, you'll probably see me pop up a lot throughout Keys TV. I'll plug Blabmars as well, because you'll see me on there. But yeah, no, it's really exciting. I'm excited for the season yeah. ahead. Um, but yeah, it's been a crazy, crazy week. And there's more action happening later today. But I have to ask, do you have any highlights? Well... I think just chatting to all the new freshers, they all seem so eager, they've got that first year energy. I've chatted to loads over the last week, and I don't know how they're still energetic. I knackered after <laughs> five days. I do get you, I do get you. I think Freshers' Fair is definitely my favourite. Yeah. It's incredible seeing all the societies. I think we were talking earlier, it's like 80 societies now. Like, that's mad, that's mad. There's something for everyone, really. And will you be going to the Taylor Swift night tonight at oh, the SU? Of course, of course. <laughs> Love I might Taylor give it a miss. <laughs> so, now then, before we close out, let's take a brief look at what we can expect from the world of sport. With the new season kicking off soon, we caught up with some of the university's sports players about what makes sport at Salford so special. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm the Secretary of Men's Rugby Union for next on this year. Hi, I'm Freya. I'm from Salford Cricket Society. I think it's, it's probably the easiest way to get to know people. So obviously you kind of come in, it's pretty, pretty nerving, um, but then everyone else is the same boat. Mm -hmm. So you kind of get to meet everyone, you know, with the socials and also playing together. And then by the end of the year, it's like best decision you've made. I love it. I've been playing cricket for over 10 years now. And so the only goal I had when I came to Salford was to do a cricket team or to even join the one that was already here. Cause a girl from my old cricket team uh, said that she did here and uh, she did cricket here and she loved it and so that was my first goal. Literally the first night I moved into Peel they had like a give it a go session on the 3G pitch so I was in, I was in the converse because I had no like no sports gear yet. I was there and I was the only girl there and literally it was brilliant. Varsity is, we have a home leg here and it's basically a competition between us and the University of Chester with all of our sports, I'm pretty sure. Um, so we had a home leg here first week and that was where we did all our home games basically, so it was really nice. And then 
I think it's the week after, I'm not really too sure. We sort of had, went away to Chester and we absolutely walloped them. <laughs> I, I was buzzing that um, we beat Chester overall, but obviously men's rugby just about lost it against uh, Chester at theirs. So I think the only only thing would be that next year, Chester here, we're, uh, we are winning that one. I think the winning varsity, I think, like, because we had our first and second team go out and absolutely storm it. I think Chester were being a little bit aggy, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> but, like, I think they proper gave them a good walloping, and there's a brilliant picture of, like, um, of them absolutely destroying the stumps that someone was taking pictures of. I don't know who took that picture, but I want to, like, <laughs> like, give them a massive round of applause. It is absolutely ace. But no, I think just the team environment surrounding that and not even if you weren't playing that day, we were all there, we we're all supporting them mm -hmm. on the home leg. And it was just a lovely environment to sort of be in. And it was our like one of our first sort of home team games of the season, so it was really good, really good. Ooh. I think I scored we were away at Lancaster and I scored a try from like halfway line. I think just proper put yourself out there. I think I had a lot last year where I was like, oh, this is someone else's thing. I shouldn't be doing this or I shouldn't be like involved in this sort of thing. I think it's, they always want new people involved. You're never going to be told no. You're always going to be given advice and stuff like that. And don't be afraid to try new things. I think we all definitely like have imposter syndrome when it comes to stuff like this. I think you kind of just got to push yourself out of your comfort zone a bit. I think, um, I think it's the hardest thing to do, especially at uni when it's kind of so intimidating. Uh, but you have to do it. You have to force yourself to do it because then you won't have the same experience and you've only got three years it doesn't seem seems long at the time but when you're in it like just got to do as much as possible try and meet everyone um, and yeah just have a bit of fun and thanks to Jody and the shock sport team for that that was brilliant they'll be back doing lots more stuff for Salford Weekly as the weeks progress Yes, and lots more coming up on Keys TV as well, with a lot more shows coming out this year, which is very, very exciting. And if you would like to get involved in any of those Keys TV shows, you can pop us an email, keystv at sulfur.ac.uk, and we're on Instagram as well, as is Shock. Yes. And um, season three officially kicks off on the 27th of September, so not long to go. Yeah, I'm very, very excited. I'm very, very excited. It should be a really good meeting. Emma's going to have some busy evenings. Six o'clock every Friday. Yes, yes, I know. And you'll catch me on Blood Mouse and lots, probably lots of other things as well. All um, from Media City. Yeah, all from Media City. And I'm just excited for this year, to be fair. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. And those of you watching at home, you have the chance to be in my shoes for the upcoming episodes of Salford Weekly, right alongside the wonderful Emma Nelson. So if you want... To be in my shoes, you can audition, uh, just get in touch with Keys and they'll sort you out. Yes, I'd love to have you join me. I think that's all we have time for yeah, today. It's been a fun show. It's been great, it's been great. Thank you for joining me. Thank no you for problem. joining me. I've loved it. It's been great. It's been a great location as well, and thanks to everyone involved. But that's all for now. Um, for us at Peel Park Campus, enjoy the closing days of Welcome Week, and we will see you very soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.